Hi, so I've been working on getting CV inputs into and out of a Teensy microcontroller. Uh, this would also work with an Arduino, but I've been using the Teensy 4.0, uh, mainly because it's small. Um, so I just wanted to talk about getting CV into it and CV out of it. And basically the limitations for your inputs and your outputs, or your inputs anyway, are they can, they're limited to 3.2 three volts maximum. Anything above that could potentially damage it. Maybe I think it can survive up to five volts, but it can't read higher than 3.3 .3 volts. So essentially what we have to do is take our negative five to positive five values from Eurorack world and get them down to the right values for the Teensy. All right, so the input section of this uh, is probably the most complicated, uh, and even still it's not particularly complicated. Uh, we use the MCP6004 uh, op amp for this, and essentially what we're having to do is to reduce the level of the Eurorack signal and offset it uh, to get it to the correct level for the microcontroller. And our Eurorack signal uh, goes from negative 5 to positive 5 volts, and our microcontroller goes from 0 to 3.3 .3 volts. And so uh, with... Uh, with this op amp, what we can do is essentially reduce the level of that. And uh, we use this MCP6004 because it is a low power op amp. So you can power with the same voltage as your microcontroller and it cannot produce a voltage out of its output that is greater than its input voltage. So in that way, it can protect your microcontroller. Uh, and it also has to have this offset input, um, a negative five volts offset so that your signal doesn't uh, go from negative five to positive five. It goes from a zero to positive 10, I believe is how that works. I, actually, I'm not really sure how that works, but in any case, it makes the output go from zero to 3.3 .3 volts instead of uh, like going back and forth between zero and going to negative voltages, which is what we don't want. Uh, and so in this circuit, uh, they use a, uh, like a, um, precision regulator to provide that uh, negative five volts. And I didn't have those handy for my uh, hobbyist needs. So instead I just made this with a voltage divider. So this is the circuit I'm using to get our negative five volts um, at our input. And uh, these values of these uh, resistors aren't uh, exactly important. What's important is that they're all the same value in relation to each other. Uh, so in my situation, I actually multiplied these all by 10 because those were just the resistors I had handy. Um, and so you can see on this input, it goes from negative five to positive five, and on the output, it goes from zero to 3.3. .3. All right, so now we can talk about the output. So for the output, I'm using a MCP4821 DAC, and then the output of that is going into an op amp to get it to the correct range for the Euro rack. Uh, now for the DAC, this is the way I have it wired to the Teensy. We have our power input here and the three connections of the Teensy and then our output to our op amp and ground, ground and power in there. Uh, and now uh, I was able to get this to output uh, accurately up to three volts. I think it can do like 5.5, .5, I think it says over here, something like that, but I could get it to do three volts accurately and so to get that, that's 0 to 3 volts. Uh, to get that to the 0 to 5 volts I want for Euro rack, I use a TLO 7.2 uh, op amp, and I use this circuit. You can see our input is 3 volts. And what this does is amplify the circuit, or amplify the signal, and uh, it does not invert the signal, unlike the other one. Uh, yeah, so that's our output signal, and that gives us 5 volts on the output. All right, so I can show you what I'm actually doing with this, at least the first little simple thing I've made. So I have a square wave coming out of Dixie and Joe. I'll turn the volume up. So Joe is my filter. You can hear that kind of movement. And what I have is when I press this button, it takes the input from this knob. When I release it, it loops that input. So you can sort of make your own LFO modulations and turn up a little more if you want. So you can do fun stuff like the really quick ones or I'm 
much slow. Tracer has nothing on us. Really catch those harmonics. Nice little fun CV modulator thing. There you go. I'll uh, upload the script I'm using for that. And yeah, there you go.